First of all, I would uh, like to compliment you, sir, on this very important gesture that our honorable colleague from Sindh province, Senator Keshu Bayasaiba, was chairing this session on sent a message that Pakistan's federation and the house of the federation is inclusive, tolerant, and tolerant, which is what the vision of the Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah has been. And that is why the Pakistan flag has green as well as 26% of that white, which is for non-Muslim Pakistanis, of which she is a very distinguished representative as a colleague. Thank you, sir. And today, I think it is in that spirit that both sides of the aisle, opposition and government, have united to promote, preserve, and protect the Kashmir cause, because Kashmir, together with the nuclear program and the CPEC, are three issues which are above party lines on which there is a national strategic objective. I'll just make two short points, sir. Number one, what has been the transformation after 5th of August 2019 when the Modi regime illegally annexed occupied Kashmir? Aranduti Roy is one of the leading writers of South Asia. She is an Indian and she wrote in the New York Times on August 19th after the annexation and she said, and I quote, in today's India, RSS is the state, and in today's India, an architecture of fascism is being erected. Quote, unquote, New York Times article of Aranduti Roy. And what is the consequence of that? The transformation of the demographic balance in Indian occupied Kashmir, trying to transform a majority into a minority like Palestine. Four million new domiciles have been issued. 1.2 million people have been put on the voters list. 5.3 billion dollars have been uh, squandered uh, to the Kashmir economy. 500,000 Kashmiris have lost their jobs. And you can see 15,000 people have been arrested. And there was a long list of My colleague, Senator Mushtaq Sab, I'll just add one which he missed out. Dr. Qasim Faktu, for 27 years he's there. Unki kitab bhi aayye bank, jisko humne launch bhi kiya tha. And he's the husband of Asiya Andrabi Sahiba. So you can see that. And secondly, in India today, instead of a secular, inclusive, and pluralist India, we are seeing the Republic of Hindutva, a fascist republic under Modi's RSS. And I think the most important statement has been given on 12th of January 2022 by Dr. Gregory Stanton. He is the chairman of the Genocide Watch, and I would like the honorable members of the Treasury to take note of it. He gave a testimony to the American Congress. He's an American. He said that in India, there is the makings of a genocide, quote unquote genocide, starting with Kashmir and Assam also against Muslims. So this is what is happening. So what do we need to do? Just Makaunga, Brailichilisti, you know, Mushtaq Sab, teen cheese on the Number one, strategic clarity. We do not have a clear India policy. And I think this applies also to the establishment and also to the military and the political establishment should have a clear India policy. A year ago, we were told Mr. Modi is willing to talk on Kashmir. We were told that India is willing to discuss everything. They have used that as a decoy to strengthen the occupation. And now there are also a lot of the business community that India will come from India and Modi will come. Sorry, we are talking of a person who is a killer of people who is committing genocide. So we should have strategic clarity on India that they do not wish us well. One way we say that they are spreading the death of the people in the Khyber Pakhtun Khwa, they are doing this, the other way we are preparing to Modi to welcome Modi. The two do not go together. We should be very clear on India policy, number one. Number two, it's an issue also of lawfare which we have not used. If Gambia, a small country of five lakhs, can go to the court, International Court of Justice, in November 2019, against the massacre by Myanmar about Rohingya, and then on 23rd of January 2020, International Court of Justice says there's a genocide in Rohingya. Why can't we do the same on RSS when we have people like Dr. Gregory Stenson saying there's a genocide? And the third thing, finally, Mr. Chairman, is 70% of the battle is the battle of ideas, the battle of narratives. Parliamentary diplomacy, think tanks, academia, Kashmiri diaspora. These are the weapons in our struggle. The Kashmiri people are resisting, and we are fully behind this resistance all the way. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you, Ji. Janab Ali Mohammad Khan, sir. 
Başka 